guys, uh, welcome to Interview Tuesday. Um, I look like a hot mess today, but you're pretty much just going to have to deal with it because I have a lot going on today and I've just got to get this done. So, um, this week we're interviewing Cool Jeffrey. Woo! Let's get started. We're all going to vlog you a love song Cause you subbed for it, cause you need one You see, we're all going to vlog you a love song Cause it's Evan, Kelly, Catherine, Lauren And don't forget Christine, we're not going to vlog you to stay But we're hoping that you're subbing Cause we're vlogging you a love song today what inspired you to start making YouTube videos? Um, what inspired me to make YouTube videos? I actually, um, it was last summer, summer of 2008, or I think, yeah, the summer of 2008, and, um, I just was kind of bored, and I loved making entertaining people and making just goofy videos and stuff like that, so I started to make videos because I wanted to entertain people, and that's kind of what, like, inspired me. I saw some videos on YouTube, and I'm like, hey, that would be fun to do, so I started to do that, and now I am doing what I am doing today, so yeah. How did you become Michael Buckley's intern? That question is actually a asked a lot. Um, I was I I was I just started getting into YouTube and stuff, and I saw Michael Buckley and from What the Buck Show, if you don't know who that is, and um, he was doing a live show on Blog TV. I'm like, what's Blog Blog TV? So I went on Blog TV, said hey, and then he was in the chat, and I said I up like private message him saying, hey, if you need any help, just let me know. And he said okay, and uh, he kind of needed my help with like the live show, him just sort of starting off and stuff, and I helped him out. And then he kind of, uh, he commented it on one of my videos, oh, Buck Intern, and so kind of like, Buck Intern, Michael Buckley's Intern, kind of the name kind of stuck, and so now I'm his, like, Buck Intern personal assistant kind of person over online and stuff, so, and I'm excited to meet him soon, so it'll be a lot of fun. What advice would you give to aspiring YouTubers? Keep doing what you're doing, um, don't care what anybody thinks about, because the viewers will come if you make videos that you like to do. The most important thing is to enjoy what you're doing, and... You don't want to be like, oh, I'm going to make this video, I hate making this video, but I know it's going to get views. Don't do that. Do what makes you happy, and uh, viewers will come, and so you will do great. And just don't, don't care what people think. Just be yourself and do what you do. Who do you look up to? Um, I, like in YouTube, I don't know if you, what you mean, but in YouTube I look up to Michael Buckley, obviously, because he did, he did such a great job. He put his content out there. He got uh, subscribers. He got, I don't know, he, he, he knew how to work not work the system, but like he knew how to, what YouTube was and he what what he needed to do to be successful. I like to Shay, Shay Carl is awesome, he's so hilarious, and uh, I love those YouTubers. But in person, I look up to my parents, I look up to positive influences in my life, and stuff like that. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a psychiatrist. Um, if anything happened in the entertainment industry, like, not bad entertainment, but I'm meaning like, uh, like actor or like a voice talent, I would love to do that on the side, but right now I'm in col going to be going to college. To become a psychiatrist and hopefully that goes well but uh, like I said if anything opens up in like uh, like if I ever get connect contacted or something I would love to do something in like the entertainment thing business like acting voice acting fun stuff like that video creating because I love YouTube and I love this like community interaction and stuff like that so what's the best advice you were ever given try your hardest don't care what other people think um, I don't know just be who you are. Don't, like I said, you know, just be who you are. Don't ever care what other people think. And just work your hardest. Because work, because whatever you want to do, and you put your thoughts and stuff like that, like what you want to do, put it out there. Put out what you want. Set yourself, set yourselves goals, and uh, then you'll, uh, you'll get those goals, I guess. Just, just try your hardest and work your best. Because what you want will always come to you if you work hard at it. Okay, so we all know that you do a lot of different voices and accents, characters, whatever. Um, so which one is your favorite, and will you demonstrate? I have like two favorites. Two of my favorite things I love to do is uh, the Aunt Carol voice, which is, uh, I'll do it real fast. <clears throat> it's, uh, hi, my name's Aunt Carol, and so uh, I, I have tons of little kitties and stuff, and I, I'm a smoker, if you can't tell. But uh, I just love doing things and making entertaining people, okay. Okay, that was my that was my first favorite. I know that's kind of weird. That's Aunt Carol. And my second favorite is like movie announcer, like "Hello, my name is Cool Jeffrey." Or in a world where one man rules supreme, kind of like the whole announcer kind of trailer voice. Those are my favorite. I like to do those, and I even do those around the house sometimes. I'm like, I like look at my dog Wishbone or Fred, and I'm like, in a world where Wishbone 
is the ruler of all the dogs. I don't know, and I have to, you have to do the fist to make it sound powerful. I don't know why I do that. But yeah, it's just fun. I like doing voices. I like doing just different crazy things, and it's lots of fun. So, yeah. Thanks, Jeffrey, for doing this. It's real, it was really awesome of you. And um, leave in the comments below uh, if you want to see us interview anyone specific next week or the week following. Or if you want to be interviewed, you should let us know. And subscribe to Jeffrey because he's awesome, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!